Good morning, YouTube. Hope you've had a wonderful day so far today. I just wanted to hop on here and talk about something that I've been seeing going on, and it, that is lowering your burn rate. Uh, obviously, we're all sitting around here uh, watching layoffs happen all around us. If you're in tech, you may have been impacted or at least had a coworker impacted, um, and that's not been you know not been not been a fun time so far. Um, and I just want to come on here and talk about it because I did some self-reflecting over the weekend as well. And uh, yeah, I want to be able to give my thoughts, my two cents about this. Um, so watching tech, watching what everything that's going on, clearly there's something going on in the industry. And that is the idea of lowering your burn rate. Now, people aren't talking about it as that stuff. They're just trying to cut costs and cut back. And you can see companies spending less on R&D or less in certain, uh, certain, certain areas. Um, and there's really two ways to make money in a business. One is make more money and two is spend less money. Um, and the market has been always make more money, right? You spend a lot of money on R&D, you spend a lot of money on all these other things in order to make more money, but that means the burn rate is really high, right? You're spending a lot of money, but you're making a lot of money. So that seems to be okay, right? The world balances itself out when you can make more money off of the money you're putting in, right? You're looking at you know, throwing a couple million dollars in R&D, but that's gonna make a billion dollar product. So like 100%, that's the way to go. But we're in this world now where you need to lower the burn rate because the return on investment is not there or people are just tightening their, their budgets overall. And what's happening is people are getting cut from jobs that are in these roles, let's say R&D or something like that, or marketing or really anything around these specific areas because they're trying to do less sales, they're doing less product development, they're doing all these things. They're trying to hunker down on making sure their product is the correct product market fit, going to go squeeze that lemon for all of its worth. So not so much even, um, you know, if your total addressable market is, you know, let's just say 50,000 people, and you've got 25,000, going to target those other 25,000 is the way that the businesses are going instead of moving into adjacent markets and stuff like that. Um, so I took a little bit of an experiment over I'm just gonna, sorry, I took a little bit of an experiment over the weekend too to make sure that I can lower my costs. Um, and I know that when I left my previous job at a Silicon Valley company, I set myself out for a certain amount of time in order to you know, make sure my runway was as long as possible to make sure that I could spend as much time building these things out as I want, right? Lightworkers are gonna take time to make money. Milton Innovation might not, never make money, but you know, going through that process, consulting takes a long time to get clients, especially in this market too. So making sure that I had enough runway to not just, you know, do these things for you know, a month and then leave. Um, so when I went through and I calculated my burn rate, it was a little bit higher than what I wanted it to be. And really some of the stuff was, you know, just things that I was spending money on that not necessarily contributing directly to business value. Um, you saw last, last episode that I bought a, you know, a vlogging camera. And you can tell right now this is not a vlogging camera. This is sitting on my iPhone. So... Um, when I went and looked at my expenses, what I really wanted to do is I wanted to optimize for the least amount of money I could spend for the maximum return on investment. So I was looking at it the same way the other businesses are looking at it as well. Trying to figure out where my expenses are, where the money is to be made, where the money is to be spent. And when I sat down and said, like, here's my spreadsheet, uh, big numbers nerd, by the way. Um, when I went down and looked at my spreadsheet, I realized that I would much rather extend the runway than have a vlogging camera. I'd much rather extend the runway than do X. Um, and that's something that I'm going to be able to do. Now, obviously, the other flip side of the coin is making more money. So how does each one of the items that I purchase, how does each one of the subscriptions, how does each one of X contribute to making more money while keeping the burn rate as low as possible? And I went through that exercise kind of about all the numbers, all the finances, all the everything, and tried to figure out what's the best return on investment, and that's when I made a few cuts. So uh, I returned the vlogging camera, I know that I just bought it, uh, and you'll say I actually have a DJI mic on too, um, but I returned the other one that I had, and the other one was um, really around the, the two mic system with the transmitter and the case, and what I realized when I went through this is, yes, I need good audio for things like this because the sound quality of the iPhone is not the greatest, it's good, but it's not the greatest, I'm a very big sound guy. Um, but when I do events and stuff like that, I want to make sure that I have the best qu best quality um, audio. Um, so what I really figured out is I only needed one of these. Um, so I returned the two set and bought this one. So this is just this and the transmitter. But these are little things like this that go a long way to making sure that you can stay in business longer in order to do your craft, to do your thing, to do your XYZ. Um, so I just wanted to come on here and talk about, you know, there's a lot going on in the market right now. And, you know, making money is going to be a little bit harder over the next little while. Uh, especially with all, you know, all the companies tightening their budgets, doing layoffs, stuff like that. There's going to be a lot of people in the market. Um, there's going to be a lot of people looking for jobs in the market. So even if you're a, you know, a, 
a single person, even if you are an entrepreneur, even if you're a data analyst that got laid off about lowering your burn rate, making sure you know how long money, how much money you have left, how long you can stay in business, uh, how long until you have to look for that new job, how long do you have your runway, how much finances do you have left. Um, money is a big piece and it's not always just about making money. It can be about not spending money. So I just wanted to come on here just for news for everyone. Make sure that you understand your finances. Make sure you understand how much money you have uh, and cut those frivolous things. Maybe you don't need Netflix right now. You know, maybe you should be spending time building your businesses instead of watching Netflix. So, you know, there's more time spent on your business, but also less money that you're spending. And these little things add up. Definitely, definitely, definitely. Uh, you know, swapping out the camera was, you know, a couple, a thousand or a bit Canadian dollars. But now that's a thousand more dollars I have on the runway and I'll just use my camera on my iPhone as the example of what I'm trying to do. Uh, and I think this is a good way to also just, you know, understand and listen to myself, right? I'm telling companies that I'm working with right now too, to make sure all their budget's in line, make sure they're not spending for this amount of money and I needed to take my own advice. So there we go. Um, I hope that this has been kind of influential and kind of good overall. Again, watch your burn rate, lower those numbers as much as you can. Uh, one of the biggest things that I do too is I don't have a car payment. Uh, I drive an older car and yeah, it's an older car. It doesn't have very many maintenance problems, which is good, uh, but I don't have that as an expense, right? I have very, very low, um, very, very, very low overall kind of expenses per month. And I've done that on purpose to make sure that, you know, I, I live in this default, default alive, like I'd like to call it, default alive world that, you know, if something bad happens, it's not the end of the world. That is not kind of going to make or break every single thing. Uh, so I do know my runway, but I'm lucky enough that, you know, I don't have a car payment that I need to worry about. And some of you might, and you know, selling the car might be an option, right? Like in order to extend your runway, you know, maybe doing that's an option. So just go look at your expenses, double check your burn rate, make sure you understand where your money's going in and out and make sure to cut any finances that you can't, uh, sorry, that you can live without and invest it back into your business, invest it back to yourself, invest it back in your runway. Those are all good kind of practices overall. So anyways, a little short video today. just wanted to come on here and just say, you know, watch your burn rate, learn, learn, learn about yourself, make sure you know how long to live. Um, if you're not alive, you can't do all of the fun things that you want to do with your business. So money is oxygen to businesses overall. And yeah, I hope this audio sounded good. Um, the mic is looks like it's picking up, looking like it's picking up well. And just want to come on here for a quick little Monday update. And I hope that everyone's doing well. And I'll see you guys uh, in the next video. And and I will see some of you at the meetup on the 31st, which is in two to like 48 hours or so. Uh, very, very excited. I'll drop the link down below. So anyways, just going to catch you guys in the next video.